guys, it's another episode of Yellow Hunters Vlogs, and today we are in Amsterdam. What to see? What to see? Definitely gotta check out the red light district, see what all the hype is about. There's so many museums out here. There's like an oddities museum and a body world museum. There's even a museum for prostitution, which might be very interesting. Gotta check out some of the Dutch cuisine, definitely. So tonight we're actually going to a restaurant um, and checking out some of traditional food that's served there. I'm not exactly sure what the name is right now. And then later on, we're gonna check out some of the cafes and see like what light nightlife is here. So welcome to the adventure. is available here are vending machines for hamburgers. So let's check it out. pretty cool day um, because we ended up going to this restaurant that I still don't know how to pronounce and we had something called Stampoot which is mashed potatoes with like either a mix of carrots or beets and then afterwards we just walked around and the city is so beautiful and it's just like really nice to be out here in Milan. <laughs> of locals as well as tourists. The historical buildings over here are beautiful and it's definitely such a nice town to just relax and walk around. Uh, later on we're going to be checking out the cheese company for free samples. Uh, we're also going to check out some other spots including the red light district. Although I'm told that I can't film too much because the prostitutes will attack me. So many head shops over here, it's insane. They even have ice cream with 100% marijuana. One of the dirt is this free festival in late August called Uni Market, and so we decided to haul our ass over to Oosterdok, which is 15 minutes away from the Sam Square. There is one huge stage when we entered in, but apparently there are a total of 30 stages playing music ranging from jazz to hip hop. There's also some food vendors and some beer spots. So let's check it out. Beautiful um, restaurant that has great views of the city. And I'm 
I'm about to try some bitter balls, which are really just croquettes with meat in them. countryside five hour tour let's go so what you see here on the floor that's this and this is the product from the stones now then this is the second part and that's kneading so what i do i put one bucket with the product of the stones that's about 10 kilo on the stove and then here we make it warm till uh, 60 degrees and we make it warm and that makes the oil a little bit more fluid then i can press more oil when it's warm now what you see here this bag is pressed out already this one is from five ten minutes ago it feels still warm yeah? Now what I do, I place the bag into a filter and the inside of the filter is made of rope and the outside is leather. Now one bag here on the left side, so standing up, and the other one here on the right side. Now and this one, that's a kind of hammer. So right now we're inside of a windmill and we are at the top level looking at how the mechanism works. The body of the windmill. This windmill has actually been around since the early 1600s and is used nowadays to make oil out of mills. So, so far we've gone to Zanzashans to check out the windmills. We've also gone to check out some clogs and how they're made. And we checked out Volendam for a cheese factory and got some yummy waffles. That there are flakier and they're definitely, you can taste the difference how a waffle is made in the United States versus made in Amsterdam. All about Scott's fake birthday. Scott's fake birthday. Scott's fake birthday. So we're gonna go check out the Body Museum, 
sex museum. We're gonna go on our one hour free canal trip that we got from yesterday's windmill and Walden Dam trip. And then we're gonna check out some other fun places like the Tonton Centrum. And we're gonna also try Geneva, which is a gin shot that is native to this area. think that this is gin and it is, it's the mother of gin because I mean, is he drinking or is he working? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's working. Because long as in the history of this country we've been in republic but with nobility the highest rank was the Prince of Orange he became king of England by marrying Mary Stuart and he introduced this drink the English thought it was pronounced as gin neighbor uh -huh. and uh, or and so um, when the English started making it themselves, um, assuming a drink named after the Juniper Berry must be the main ingredients, which it is, and it's grains, the recipe changed completely and went from Geneva to gin. Oh. <laughs> that tastes really good. Yep. And that's the alternator, and this one has been aging Czech Daniel barrels, limousin, and. So, right now, we're actually going through Strom Petersburg, which is the narrowest alleyway in Amsterdam. It's actually kind of funny, the last time we did a night cruise, it was also raining, which is horrible weather for a night cruise. I know, whatever. Earlier today, we checked out this place called Amaleg. It's one of the top breakfast spots in its neighborhood. And it was the best thing. The scrambolicious egg sandwich was the best egg sandwich I've ever had in my life. I can eat two of those. So I highly recommend that. And then we also checked out the Sex Museum, which was great. There was a lot of graphic content that I couldn't show though. So just be warned if you do want to check that out, that that's the type of shit you're going to be seeing. did it in Paris. We took a day off to travel to Brussels, Belgium. Ooh, Yay! Belgium. Waffles and so, fries. Yep. And beer. Obviously, yeah. Now that we're here, we gotta try some waffles, some chocolates, and some beer.
I learned today is that Brussels is known for its lace. So I'm in front of a lace shop and it is some beautiful darker edition. It's pretty good. So here's another lace shop. Look at them in dollars. It's 158 euros. So unfortunately, the Amsterdam trip has come to an end. I really enjoyed being here, so did Scott. We got a chance to live like locals, even though we didn't ride around in bikes. So if you like this video, then press the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos like these on my channel. Until next time.